What are you guys eating for breakfast? Yeah. Unicorn cereal. Dad bought them a treat yeah. for breakfast, huh? You've never had it before. Is it good? Good? Good. good. <laughs> Thumbs up. Good. 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 <laughs> I love you guys. Shay, what colors are in your cereal? Pink. Pink? And what else? Mm-hmm. Good job. Pink, purple, and blue. Is it yummy? Yeah. What are you drinking? Juice. Oh my goodness. They never drink juice either, but this stuff is so good. I usually buy this stuff and like juice and lemonade and stuff for myself. But she just said she wanted some. You want some? Okay. They normally just drink water. Every time I give them juice, they never drink it. You're drinking it right now though, is it yummy? Mmm, yummy in your tummy? This juice is from Costco though, it's really good. It's probably my favorite juice right now. And my dad is a huge juice lover, so that's where I get it from. She wants me to read this to her. You're getting so good with your words, huh? Want me to open? You want me to read it? Okay. It's a flower. It's a flower. Good job. What's this? It's a what? Fish. It's a fish. Good job. What's this? Shoes. What is this? Car. Good. What's this? Ball. Ball. Good job. What's this? Potty. Potty. Good job. What's this? What is it? What is it? It's a baba. What is this? It's a nana. A nana. If you're wondering where Adam and Grayson are. Still sleeping in there. Wanna finish reading your book? On the floor? <laughs> what is this? TV. TV. What's this? Clock. Clock. What is this? Chair. It's a chair, but it's a couch. Yeah. A couch. What is this? It's a TV. A TV. Yeah, that's a computer. It kind of looks like a TV. What's this? E table? Yeah. Can you say table? Table. Good. I just finished nursing Grayson, and I've been starting to use my haka a lot more. Like, I'm trying to remember to use it for every feed and just put it on the side that he's not feeding from. And I've been able to catch like a good maybe ounce or two, which isn't a whole lot, but if I do it for every feed throughout the day, it adds up. And so I've been trying to remember to use it every day for the last like few days, and I'm slowly starting to build up a milk supply little stash in our freezer. I don't have a lot, but yeah, there's only like three bags in there right now, which may not seem like a lot and it really isn't but um for only starting to use this haka the last like four days um if i do it like every single day that's like one bottle that i'm saving for him so i'm not pumping i'm still not pumping i'm just using this so if you guys are breastfeeding you definitely need to order one of these i got this off of amazon i think it's like 10 bucks and you just place it on the side that they're not feeding from and it catches your letdown so it doesn't go to waste in like a breast pad or something. I'm gonna add this milk that I caught last night. Um, he wakes up around three o'clock and then at like 6 a.m. So he really, I guess, only wakes up once in the middle of the night to feed. And then, I don't know if you count like the 6 a.m. feed in the middle of the night, it's more like morning time. So this is everything that I caught from the 3 a.m. feed and the 6 a.m. feed. And so I'm just gonna add it to this. This is like a half of an ounce. 
and then this is one ounce so that's like an ounce and a half and then um, the rest of the day once I um, continue to fill this up I'll add it to this little packet and then freeze it I've also started giving Grayson these Gerber Soothe probiotic drops. I use these with both Shea and Bailey and I swear by them. Um, this is another definite must have. This and the gripe water like I use constantly. Um, you use these every single day but you do five drops like on a spoon or you can put it on your breast if you're breastfeeding. I just put five drops on one of these little infant spoons and then spoon feed it to him. Um, you can also put it in a bottle if you're bottle feeding. But these are just basically supposed to help improve their digestive system. And it really helps with colicky babies. Grayson, I don't think is colicky by any means. But there was a day there, like I think it was a week ago, when he was super fussy. And I started the drops that day. Um, it does take a couple days to like actually work. But since I started using these, we haven't had a bad day since. But... Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend these. They are pretty pricey, but in my opinion, definitely worth it. Oh, Those are your sisters. <laughs> he is smiling. Did you tell him to smile? I saw. Oh, he he's smiling at you. Oh, where's the owie? Where's the owie? <laughs> the owie. You got owie? That's why he's You get an owie? Yeah. kiss it. Kiss his owie. He's a cutie pie. He is, huh? Oh, he's hey, you guys, did you know he's one month old? He's one month. You want to hold him? Yeah. I want to hold him. We'll take turns, okay? We'll take turns, okay? You want to hold the baby? Okay. Yeah, I want to hold, I you can hold them next, okay? Okay. Hold oh my goodness. <laughs> you like you. Uh oh, say shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Don't be sad. I'm going to go get his binky. I'll go get his binky. Okay, come here. He likes listening to your voice. What color is his eyes? Yeah, it's Bailey's turn now. Uh, what color is his eyes, Bailey? Blue. Blue like yours and Shay's and mine and Dada's. We all have blue eyes, huh? Your friend has blue eyes too? No, oh, my whole neighbors. All your neighbors do? <laughs> Hiya, Mama. Hiya? What's Are you watering the grass? Got you? Yeah. Yeah, watch out. Here I go. I get you. Come on, let's walk around on the grass. There you go. So 
I don't think I've given you guys an update on the patio and what it looks like now. I know I shared on stories, but our concrete is finally finished. They fixed it and it looks so much better now. Um, we were finally able to bring all of our furniture up here. So we're still gonna get like a two-seater one of these. This is a three-seater, so we're gonna get the two-seater seat and put it right here for more seating out here. I also ordered an outdoor area rug to put out here as well. We have our little egg chair from Target over there. And then the swing, which you guys have seen in the vlogs. Um, the girls love this thing so much. They come out here every single morning and ask us to push them in the swing. Oh yeah, the car's probably charged now. We charged this yesterday. You guys want to drive in it? Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. Can you put a towel on it? Is it too hot? Yeah. Here. There you go. Is it too hot? Yeah. Oh, okay, let me go get a towel. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. So as you guys can see, there's a ton of dirt. It's more like sand, but um, I don't know the exact dirt that they place down here, but I told you guys that it floods a lot in the middle of our yard right there because it like dips down. So they're trying to raise the level of the ground by um, placing a bunch of dirt and then they laid some sod down, which is like grass. But the reason why we're watering it every day is because um, it needs to like build roots into the ground and eventually like grow on its own. So um, they haven't finished over here yet because they need to lay more dirt because they didn't lay enough the first time. So they're gonna come back I think this week and lay more dirt so that our yard is more level and then they'll finish the sod over here as well. But that's why this grass is looking a little bit different than our grass is because it's sod. What's wrong? What's wrong? Got it? But Adam also hung drapes up here. We have them over here as well. We still need to install on this side and this side. We have the drapes, we just haven't done it yet. Um, and we got the drapes from Amazon and these little ties. Um, I bought them separately. They didn't come with the drapes. Um, but it's coming along you guys. I'm so excited to finally start decorating. I ordered some stuff off of World Market. That's where all of our furniture is from. That chair is from Target. But these two things and then the two-seater that we're going to get is from World Market. Um, I think they're out of stock, but I will keep an eye out and see if they've restocked them yet. And I'll link them below for you guys. But I love this table because all of these come off so you can store like their toys or whatever out here. Um, but I ordered some stuff to put on the table like decor. I think I told you guys I got an area rug out here which should be coming this week. I'm really excited about that. Um, but I'm just so pleased with the concrete now. It looks a ton better. I see you. Okay, the girls are down for nap and quiet time now. We had a really relaxing morning. I feel like Grayson's presence overall has just like totally relaxed all of us. Like I'm a relaxed person as it is when it comes to like my parenting. But I feel like since we brought him home from the hospital, like our day to day is just like so mellow. I feel like his presence just relaxes everyone. And I just feel like so complete and we just love him so much. We're all obsessed with him. And you guys see in the vlogs, the girls are so sweet with him. And that's usually how it is, like 90% of the time, they're just obsessed. Like we're all just so obsessed with him and he's just so sweet and yeah. I can't believe it's a month old though, like time is just flying by and it just makes me sad because I can't believe it's already been four weeks since I've had him. It feels like last week I gave birth to him and here we are a month later and he's changing every single day. and so big already, like I can't believe how big he is. He's like almost busting out of zero to three month clothing. And I'm curious to see like how much he weighs now and how long he is. We haven't had a checkup since I think it was 
two weeks, his two week checkup. So I'm sure he's grown like a ton since then. I'm really curious to see how much he weighs and all of that, but we won't find out until his two month checkup. So yeah, we have another month until we find out what his stats are, but I can tell he's growing like a freaking weed. But I'm just trying to soak up like all these little moments with him and just cherish him being this little because he's gonna be a little toddler before I know it, running after his sisters. It makes me so sad thinking about it, but I was like, holding him after he was done nursing this morning and we were doing some skin to skin and I was just like staring into his eyes and I started crying. Not because I'm sad, but because I'm just like overwhelmed with joy and happiness and just, I don't know. I just feel so content right now, which is such a good feeling. Grayson's awake now. I just nursed him. We're about to do some tummy time on his little mat. Adam's home now. What did you get? Look at this light. <laughs> Yeah. This is supposed to be for flies, right? It's for outside, not inside. Yeah. You're, what, does it have to charge? No, I'm just testing it to see if it doesn't kill anything. So is it just for flies or like mosquitoes too? It pretty much does it all. Really? Should we do some tummy time? What do you think? I'm trying to wait a little bit because I just fed him. I don't want to put him on his stomach like right away. He loves this little mat though. Let me fix this for you. There you go. I think we're gonna give him a bath in a little bit. It's bath day. I give him a bath like every three days. That way we don't dry out his skin. But the last time we gave him a bath, I used this new product on him. I think it's called Beauty Counter BB and it did not sit well with his skin. It gave him like a rash, I feel bad. Oh, are you tooting? <laughs> like on his face because he had a really dry skin on his face and it started peeling and so I put this like it was like a baby oil but it's meant for newborns and it just didn't sit well with his skin so he has a little rash on his face so I'm definitely not going to use that again but if you guys have any good like recommendations as far as like lotions or oils for babies let me know because I want to order a new one I think I hear Shay waking up I'm gonna go get her I'm coming. Wow, the playroom is a mess. Lovely.
something bigger And now my mind is filled with you Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Baby, with a It's like 9 30. We had so much fun at Build a Bear. The girls had a blast, and then we decided it would be a good idea to go out to dinner. And I think it was like 7 45 when we got there. It's like 9 30 now, but dinner was a disaster. We went to the Cheesecake Factory, and all of the kids were just not having it. Um, we made it through dinner, and then on the drive home, it was like a 25 minute drive home, and all of our kids were just out of their minds. So, our first official outing as a family of five was pretty stressful. <laughs> Build a bear was fine, but dinner, not so much. So, I don't think we're gonna be going out to dinner as a family of five anytime soon. But I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Adam and I are just like beyond exhausted. So, we're gonna go to bed now that the kids are all in bed. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Baby without